YouTube, welcome back to my channel and hello podcast. I'm multitasking to the extreme today. Uh, welcome back to my podcast and YouTube channel. I appreciate you all. Thank you ever so much for listening and watching. So today, if you follow me on Instagram at Ada's Attic Vintage, which you should do, um, I have already divulged that I'm going to be doing a show and tell today. So I've been out shopping to the extreme. We've been to London, Birmingham and Nottingham. For some reason I want to say Manchester. I don't know why, but maybe I should go. Um, so let's get down to it, shall we? So now if you are listening to the podcast, I do recommend you go to the YouTube channel so you can see all the beautiful things I'm about to show my wonderful YouTube viewers. Um, this skirt is, is one of my favourite things. The print and the colours on it just shine. Look at that. I just love it. It's like a really cool multi-coloured Paisley-esque skirt, uh, maxi skirt and it's got a really cool design on the front. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's got a zip at the front with like a frill. Oh, I can't show you. It's really cool, high-waisted, it's just so much fun, I really love this skirt. The, the pattern and the colour, beautiful like JD green colour is everything for this. And it is by Personal Division of Leslie Fay. I have not heard of that so I'm intrigued to do some research but yeah I'm really cool, I'm really, I really love it, it's just so much fun. And I would say that is a 70s skirt. I've described this as like a mermaid meets hula girl skirt and if you can if, if you've seen it you'll understand why won't you it is wicked i love it now if you watched my last week's video about how to wear le leopard print you're already in the know that this is a huge trend for this season and this is super cool a 60s high neck uh mini dress in leopard print is a perfect way to wear it it is such a flattering silhouette it's very fitted um, it's just really, really nice. I love it. I love the high neck silhouette. It's fun. Looks, it's fitted. It's a bit sexy, but elegant. Because that's what we're going for, isn't it? Next, we have another dress. I love this. I love this sagey green colour. And I love the double layered sort of design to it. Then we hold it up so you can get to the full joy of it. So again, it's got a very a soft sage green colour that lace I just love isn't that pretty so delicate and it's around the shoulders as well and it's got the beautiful sort of not the 80s peplum which you would automatically see when I say peplum but it's a sort of very soft frill this is a 40s style dress it's not that old it's probably I don't know 90s 90s is 40s but I really love this pattern it's like a um it's kind of rides with William Morris print very very pretty I love it I, this is a move I still need to take a photo of it I just want to show you again because I just love it embroidered boho gilet uh, sheepskin one obviously it's the 60s and it's in amazing condition I mean look how vibrant those colours are still They're even better in real life so I love that <laughs> my toe was actually stuck on this cape then Oh, I have such a glamorous life. <laughs> okay, so everyone loves a cape, don't they? This amazing letterbox red. Surprisingly hard to say, especially for me. I'm not great with words, am I? Um, beautiful cape, wool cape. It is so cool. Again, 60s. It's got the really cool black leather colour and black leather detailing where your arms will come out. This is so cool, I love it. Next. Oh, who remembers the Pac-Mac? Who had a Pac-Mac? Everyone, surely. I love this colour. I'm going to keep this for myself when I go to Japan. It's a cobalt blue and it's really long. It's like mini length for me, so it'd probably be floor length for most people. But look at that clue, that clue. Colour. A lightweight and perfect so I'm looking forward to wearing that on my vintage shopping trip to Japan which I am so excited about I am so excited about oh now I don't I don't buy loads of homo because I think it's harder to find and obviously my motto is um, quantity over quality see I had to think about that because I always say it the wrong way around and correct myself but I want it today but I love this really cool bamboo and Chinesey pattern. 
Now, if you are into your vintage homeware and ceramics and stuff, pottery, know more about this than I do, please comment below because I'm really intrigued. There's no maker mark on it, but it's just got a really nice um, pattern. I was attracted to the bamboo. There's only like an oblong here. It's the only mark that I can find on the back, but it's got like a giant fan going on, oversized flower, and it's huge. Look, bigger than my face, way bigger. So this is my perfect size dinner plate for everyone wondering. <laughs> but yeah, I just really like the bamboo. It's got that, I don't know, it's like um. Got like a travel sort of vibe to it. Oh. I love this. If I had a if I had a little girl, she would totally wear this. Or actually, if I could fit in it myself, I would wear it. This really beautiful turquoise, little Chinesey, Japanesey esque kimono jacket with a little soft woolly sort of collar and button placard all the way down the front and hemming and cuffs. And it's just so pretty. It's in amazing condition. Really is lovely. I couldn't say no to that. Kids get all the best things, don't they? Oh, excuse me, Leslie. Ha ha. Carrying on with the travel theme. Now, usually my rule of thumb is that you can't wear the t-shirt or like a place that says a name on it unless you've been. I haven't been to Dubai, but I love this top, so. I like a palm tree, so this is why I'm wearing this. <laughs> Again, I haven't been to Hong Kong, so technically, for my own rule, I'm not allowed to wear this either. But I love this jumper, it's just so cool. I love the colours, the oversized slouchy silhouette, and everything about it. I just think it's wicked. Um, so that's why I bought that. Oh. This has fondly been referred to as the jumper of dreams. You'll see why. It has a safari on it. It has literally all the animals that you can imagine. And they're on the back as well as on the front. What more could you want from a jumper? Perfect. Literally love it. This one really made me chuckle when I saw it. I used, when I was a kid we went to Florida for a holiday. Um, and this is proper 90s Florida fashion. You got your pastel pink turquoise blue and white striped jumper with Florida with a few um, palm trees and seahorses on it. I think it's wicked. I literally love it so much. Made in the USA as well. I love it. It's so 90s America Florida styling. Hilarious. Brings back very fond memories. Oh this top is literally so beautiful. Little gypsy top with the embroidery. It's like a crepe fabric. I actually think this is really, really old. Zoom in so you can see all that beautiful detailing. It's so pretty. Short length to it with like the zigzag um, elasticated esque waistband. And the embroidery is on the sleeves as well. Oh, look at that, all hand done. Amazing. Oh, I love it, little vintage gypsy top. So pretty. See if there's any makers marks in there. No makers marks. Oh, it's lo oh look at that detail in there with all the all the um, flowers down the front. That's it. Camera zoom in. Look, it's like gapped. That would take so much patience and work. This is beautiful. Nice. Next, in my bag of vintage. Da -da -da. We have a very elegant, beautiful, black velvet panelled floral dress. What I love about this dress is that it's such a classic silhouette in such a beautiful fabric and it's fully lined with this really soft sort of pinky colour which, oh, like a mushroom, mushroom colour. Um, it's just so elegant and I love the fact that the panels on the arms are sheer. So it's just like adds another layer to it. So nice. And also another great thing about this dress, you can tell it's been well made, the zips on the sleeves. So there's nothing worse is it when you have a long armed, no, long sleeved dress with loose arms. That's what I meant to say. I love it. Round neck and oh beautiful. This is by Donald Cam Campbell. And it was made in England. Lovely. Zoom in so you can see the label. 
There we go. Nice. Looking forward to trying that one on. Next we have a really fun black and multicolour pink, red and blue floor dress. 80s this is. I really love that velvet detailing on the neckline. I love that shape, it's sort of like a weird sort of triangle point shape isn't it, really fun. And the black cuffs as well, it's like a really cute like sort of shirt dress going on here. I just love the print, it's so pretty, again by Tommel, Tommel, Donald Campbell even. This would be uh, just past the knee length I would assume. Nice. Oh, next we have a really soft green and pretty I believe it's silk, one second. I've no label on it, it feels like silk. Um, mandarin colour shirt with like a contrasting creamy beige um, magnolia um, shoulder and colour. I love the floral details on either side of the shoulder and in the centre of the back. And they have the same contrasting colours on the cuffs. I really like this neck style, one of my favourites at the moment. And also you can tell that I've got a bit of thing for uh, cold rock blue, which also I realise I actually really do because not only is my shed that colour, my car is, and some trainers. See, my favourite colour is cold rock blue. <laughs> and that's why I bought this skirt. High waisted again, I love the fact that it's sort of, um, it comes out pleated just below the hips and it has a paisley print to it, if you can see it. So, there you go, you can. And that'll be uh, knee length, or midi length, sorry. And then next we have... Oh, this is a two-piece set, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you it together. Oh, hello, Olive. Doing show and tell, pop it. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, you can come past if you want. I won't be able to show you it. Olive is my little dog, if you didn't know. Uh, also the homeware model, but she will be doing some modelling soon. We've got this, this is a skirt suit, so it's got a matching jacket with it, 80s style. I love the, the um, two different two-tone blues in it. The nice JD uh, turquoise blue and then the cobalt blue as well. On the black background, high-waisted again. And it's sort of like a wrap, like that nice little pleat detail there, which would, uh, look, which would look lovely on add a nice movement to it. Now, this jacket's going to be hard to show you. It's like an 80s silhouette. It's got a really cool tie detail to the side and a slouchy sort of biker-esque styling to it. It's got the oversized sleeves, the sort of tucked pleat details at the back and um, at the front. It's good. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just show you it on? I am such a weirdo. Uh, pop a fasting as well, which is quite um, unique for a suit. You can see it. So I just love the colours, I and mean, it's like a nice sort of, even though it's floral, it's definitely like an autumnal sort of floral going on because of the um, black background and the flecks of gold through it. So it's a real uh, transitional piece, this is, I think. But obviously, ignore my hair and t shirt underneath. But yeah, I just really like this style, and you can wear it open, so you've got like the notch lapel here, or you can make it closed up and have the real sort of bomber jacket esque styling going on. So these are my finds that I have found <laughs> obviously recently um i'd love to know your favorite piece comment below uh comment below uh thank you so much for watching and listening i really really appreciate every single one of you if you haven't subscribed to either my youtube channel yet or my podcast make sure you go and check them both out and hit the subscribe button thank you ever so much and i shall see you next week